What's up world? My name is Sarah and welcome back to another episode of whatever it is that we're doing. The idea is I want to try the bigger village situation. I'm thinking the mirror behind our mantle. Wipe my mistakes. Let's not get into too much details. I have thrifted feel free. Now, as you can see by the title, we are DIYing it today. And I'm kind of excited for this project because it's so simple and easy and you can do it on a bunch of surfaces. Now, today I'm doing it on a couple of glass vase containers that I have thrifted. If you know me, every time I go thrifting, seems like I always come back with some glass ornament. Now I'm trying to see that the glass doesn't reflect on the lights too much, but the idea is to paint with chalk markers onto the glass. I'm gonna make a winter wonderland village situation, at least on the bigger container. I think I might continue the village on this smaller one. So I have washed them. Most of the guck is gone. I have some chalk markers that I'm going to use to paint on. I also have a paper towel that has a little bit of water on it so I can wipe my mistakes if I do any. And I have some decor stones that I'm going to use to fill in the bottom part. We have some tea candles. Let's not get into too much details. This is a bit of a wing it project, as my projects usually are. So the idea is to draw on, you could do it actually all around, but I think I'm going to do just one side village on both of the glass container vase situation. Now, do I lay it down and then try and draw? Maybe, I might have to move it while I do it. Move it while I do it. And if you need help on what kind of design, the internet is full of Christmas winter wonderland pictures. If you don't want the village, you just want some other holiday, cheerful decor, snowflakes, Christmas ornaments or some other, feel free. I just want this to inspire you to do this super simple, fun, inexpensive DIY Christmas project. So without further ado, I think we're just gonna dive into our drawing. Now I'm going to try and show you the end product without the decor rocks first. Hopefully the camera can pick it up. It was going in and out of focus a little bit, but maybe you get the picture. Now I'm going to add the little rocks. You can get real rocks from outside or like this decor kind of stone. I even have like smaller. I want to try the bigger. I might have to use two different. But I was thinking if you had lead candles, oh, the candles, it's on, but anyway, you could use the kind of fluffy pillow stuffing material and put that on the bottom kind of acting like snow but because i'm using real tea candles that's just an accident waiting to happen very quickly so i'm going to put the stones in the container add some lights and then we can see what it kind of looks like Now, how simple was this beautiful project? Again, you could do it on your windows if you wanted to create a Christmas vibe on your window. Maybe you have a mirror. I'm thinking the mirror behind our mantle or above the mantle could be fun to make some kind of Christmas decor on that. 
or you could do what I did and thrift some fun glass pieces and draw on that, add the stones and the candles and you're good to go. Christmas decor doesn't have to be all that hard and difficult. Look what I created with a couple of thrifted pieces, a pen, stones, and candles. I hope this inspires you to try something like this out. You can send pictures of your creations to me on Instagram, and I hope this holiday season is full of peace, ease, and joy. Now, go ahead, like this video, and remember to subscribe to the channel so you can find your way back for next week's video. Take care now.